Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Fedora 36 and Windows 10 or 11. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So open your web browser and search for Fedora. Click on the download from the first link and download the latest version of Fedora which is Fedora 36. Since I have already downloaded it, I am not going to download it again, but after you have downloaded it, you open another tab and search for Rufus. We need Rufus to make a bootable USB of Fedora. Download the latest version of Rufus. After downloading both files, close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8GB and please make sure to back up your pen drive data because it will be lost. After inserting your pen drive, open Rufus and select the ISO file which we downloaded. Select the partition scheme as GPT and click on start. Now this process may take some time so I'm just going to cut this part. After this process is completed, close everything and right click on the start menu and open disk management. Now select the disk with largest volume and right click on it and select shrink volume. Now allocate space of at least 30 GB and click on shrink. Now we need to restart our PC to boot into the installer of Fedora. While your computer is starting up, press the boot menu key which is either escape key or F12 key depending on your laptop to open up the boot menu and select the USB flash disk option from that menu. So guys we have finally booted into the Fedora installation. Now if you want to try Fedora before installing you can choose the left option but I have already tried everything so I'm just going to click on install Fedora. Choose your keyboard layout and your language and click on continue. Click on installation destination. Here make sure that there is a check mark icon on your disk and if you have multiple disk make sure that there is a check mark on your correct disk and select the custom option and click on done at the top left corner. Now click on the plus icon at the bottom left of your screen and select the mount point as slash boot slash AFI and enter the capacity as 300 MIB. Now click on that plus icon again and this time select the mount point as forward slash which is root partition and enter the capacity which is shown at the bottom left of your screen.
Now click on done button which is at the top left of your screen and click on accept changes. Now click on begin installation and it will start installing Fedora on your system and this will take some time so I'm just going to cut this part again. So finally the installation has been completed now click on finish installation and restart your system. Now every time you start your computer you will see a dual boot screen to choose between the operating systems. For now I'm just going to choose Fedora to check if my system is working properly. I'm just going to complete this quick setup. Okay, so we are finally done. Now let's go into settings and check what's new in this Fedora version. So as you can see, we are using GNOME 42 with Wayland. Now let's reboot our system and check if our Windows is working fine or not. As you can see we are also able to boot into windows so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel thank you